Hello, my loop friends. Welcome to Live Loopers. I'm Alex. This is a quick little video about how to use the drum module for the new modularity template, but you don't really need to use it in conjunction with the new modularity template. You can just get it and use it with your own templates. It will allow you to make uh, drum sounds. There is the drum module and the drum module plus. And uh, at the end of the video, I will talk a little bit about just what are the extras in the plus version, which are just a couple of things that are nice if you plan on using it in conjunction with the modularity template. Either way, uh, let's stop uh, wasting time and get into it. This appearing on the screen right now is the modularity template. I will swipe up on the button that says drum pads from the menu. And now appearing right there in the middle is the drum module module. There are 16 different pads. You might be looking at it and saying, wait, there's a lot more than 16 things on that thing. Uh, and that's true. Let me full screen it. But uh, there are 16 pads. There are two copies of the 16 different pads. Up in the upper left, there are the 16 different one-shot clips, which each have a different sound in them. I will tap each of them for you right now in turn. They are touch and hold. So some of those got truncated because I just tapped them uh, and they have a lot more sound to sound if I tap and hold them. These 16 big, nicely colored copies uh, on the right hand side are buttons that will trigger those one-shot samples but you can touch them and then the whole sample will ring out it's like a one-shot you just touch it and it will play the whole entire sample and that's nicer and so mostly you will be using the pads on the right side if you need to just sort of truncate your sound or just play a little teeny tap of a sound uh, there are two options, actually. One is to use the um, the ones on the upper right. You could just tap it and let it go. And it will just only play the very beginning. Or uh, you could press the one shot over here, the yellow uh, on the far right here. And uh, if you need that to not play the whole entire sound... There is a button in the lower left, which is labeled kill. And so if a sound is playing that you don't want to continue playing, you can just press the kill button and kill it at any time. There you go. Two options. Uh, also, right next to the kill button, there is a button called mod. And what that does is it allows you to quickly modify any of your samples. So, for example, there is a very big, prominent purple button. It's labeled BD1. That stands for Bass Drum 1. Uh, it's not a real bass drum. It's just my mouth pretending to be a bass drum. Uh, and say, for example, you wanted that sound to be a lot louder. You can just use that mod button, and every time you swipe up on it, uh, it will raise the volume of that, and that way you can just raise the volume of one sample relative to all the rest of the samples. Very nice, quick, and easy. As an added, just sort of ease of life feature, uh, you can press the mod button at any time, and it will uh, re-trigger whichever sample you hit last. So whichever one is still selected, you can tell which one is selected because it has a little white dot on it on the uh, upper left side there. So uh, the bass drum basically is what was triggered last. And you can press the mod button uh, to re-trigger it. And uh, you, could, like, you could press the snare. And then you could just uh, tappity-tap on the mod button a lot and get like a sort of a drum roll. Like that. 
Uh, now that snare is selected, I could swipe up to increase the volume, swipe down to decrease the volume. I can also swipe left to pitch it down and swipe right to pitch it up. So I will swipe left a bunch of times and pitch it down. And now I will press the mod button again and see what our snare sounds like now. And swipe left and swipe left. Okay, weird. And if I wanted to get it back to where it started from really quickly, uh, you can long press the mod button. Boom. And uh, now it is back to its original volume and its original pitch. That's another ease of life convenient thing. Very cool. There are also buttons labeled A and B. And... Uh, Maybe, well, I'll just tell you. Uh, press B, and you get 16 more samples. And uh, 16 more pads. And, uh, yeah, you, you just got lots and lots to play around with there. Uh, here are what the 16 uh, samples sound like on page B. These are samples that I just mostly made with my mouth and just uh, um, altered them around a little bit, put effects on them with Koala. I'll go back to A, because uh, those ones are a little bit better. Uh, but uh, neither page A nor page B are like really going to set the world on fire with how great those samples are for, in terms of drum samples. Uh, you can just uh, swap those out for whatever samples you like better. If you have like, you know, 16 different audio clips, uh, you just go in and change, uh, you know, and press that little down arrow and you can load whatever sample you want into whatever pad you want. And you can have the samples that your heart really desires and you don't have to be stuck with these ones if you don't like them. If you do like them. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you appreciate a uh, little bit of time that I put into making these samples, you know. I have fun. You can pick up the drum module module on liveloopers.com under the goodies tab uh, where the modules are and there are instructions for how to install it there and if you are having any problems you can leave questions in the comments below and I will try to uh, help you answer any questions you might have. This is the drum module plus module and one thing that it has uh, different the most prominent thing is that it has a set of control buttons along the left um, I talked about control buttons in the video for the modularity template itself, which is releasing at the same time as this video, that you can press a button and select a clip to record into, and then you can... And then it is looping, so you can, of course, record additional layers on top of that. That, in a nutshell, is the Drum Module and the Drum Module Plus module. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you like talking about looping things and you're not a subscribed subscriber, um, you don't have to be, but you can be. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Any questions, I am happy to uh, answer in the comments down below. And if you make anything with 
any of these modules or anything from Live Loopers, uh, we would love to like see some video of it. We would love to share the video out with our community and like you know and pretty much anything interesting that you're doing in the world of looping. Uh, this channel just exists to help you uh, let people know about it if you want to uh, and um, move on.